I'm gonna fill his shoes. You're gonna Since fill. Jeter's done, I'll be taking over. Ladies and gentlemen, the man to my right is putting the fun back into hip hop. He goes by the name of Action Bronson. Sir, welcome to Cabinet Presents. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Do you have uh, hundreds of sports references in your rhymes? You reference uh, obscure uh, baseball players. Did I mention steer the whip with one arm like Jim Mabbitt? Truck the sauce over then rabbit. 90s basketball players. Just the stinky. Nick Van Exel with the handle. Helsinki. 80s wrestlers to, to name a few. I hit you with the drop kick, Marty Janetti. I remember a song. You referenced Marquise Grissom of the Montreal Expos. I did. Dipper 635, CSI, Gil Grissomized. Joe Carter. Have you mentioned Joe Carter? Yeah, Juan Guzman. He had serious hair. I wanted the blue Rawlings when I seen him have that glove. You remember the yeah, blue glove he had? Yeah, he hold it up here, yeah. and then he had he had like the drips in the back. The drip, yeah. On the back of like Guzman right it there. It was Just ruined. Able, you have a very healthy beard. Yeah. If uh, if you were a Canadian, it's nutritious. If you were a Canadian, you would either be a hipster yeah. or you'd have a, a glorious hockey playoff beard. Are there any athletes who you respect their glorious beards? I like I like uh, Mike Napoli's beard. This is so healthy. This is so <laughs> healthy, Mike. He has a similar beard to me. It's Mainish. I got a bunch of companies sending me shampoo, really? conditioner, beard oils. May I? No. I, I may not. You can. I would like to. I know. I, like I just want. Lots of people want to, but you can't. It's it's. Uh, I'm gonna put it into a glass box. You're a Queens guy. I am. And I saw you tip your cat to Derek Jeter in the Jordan commercial. Commercial. Now, what you mean? I'm an icon. I know you. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, how did it happen? Actually? I don't know, bro. Trust me. I have, no, I have no like, idea. They like, just tell me they want me to be in a commercial. I'm like, for who? For Jeter, Jordan, Jeter, Yankees. Let's go. I'm a diehard Yankee fan since I'm a kid. Were you ever a Mets guy? Even when the Mets had that Subway Series I'm gonna in 2000? No, never. I was never. Piazza. No, that's not my team. I'm a the Yankee guy. When I was younger, you know, they put me in Mets clothing because it was the 80s. But when I grew up and had my own mind, at like four, <laughs> you know, you're a man at four. I was a man at I was a man at one second. <laughs> the doctor never seen such a thing. He said. As Jeter is retiring as both a Yankee and the king of New York, yeah. who do you think? Who is the athlete that can fill that void or step into the I royalty mean, in New York? I'm gonna fill his shoes. You're gonna since fill Jeter's done, I'll be taking over. I was reading that um, that you're friends with Kevin Love. Yeah, he's the homie. Like, do you guys, would you guys text each other? Yeah, of course. I have a very huge respect for the man. I, I admire him. I like, the, it's the unity of the beards, man. It is, I, you know, like I wish I could play ball. I have a better jumper than him for sure. Come on, dude, that guy's My jumper is reason. wet, my jumper is wet. Action. Since on, 13 man. years old, dude, I've Kevin developed Love? it. I can't take it to the hole. No man. one in the right mind would say they have a better jump shot than Kevin Love. I have Unless a better jump like... shot than 85% of the NBA. <laughs> I'm 62% from the field. Oh, come on, man. You're not Shaquille O'Neal circa 01. I'm taking 18. I'm pulling up on 18 footers. I'm taking obscure <laughs> shots, 16 and a half foot jumpers. 